Hey everyone, Steph here from Old God Melts Plastic. Um, in this segment of my Annex K3 build series, I'm going to finish the running of the belt for the XY gantry. Um, and I say belt because I've already run the other three that are needed, and the fourth one is just the same assembly all over again. So I'm not going to record all three, but I will show you how to do one of them. And then if you're building this for yourself, you would just repeat on each of the four sides of the printer. Uh, so repeat three more times. Um, the way to do this is first of all, uh, you will see when you have this assembled, there is a bolt, wrong size. This bolt, the screw runs uh, through these printed parts and into the carriage. We're going to remove this one and you can tell which one to remove because there'll be this gap, visible gap here where you can see and that's where we're going to route some belt. So we want to fully remove that bolt. And then on this side of this printed part is a little slot where you can slide the belt into. And so I'm going to attempt to feed the belt through here. It's going, it's hard to see, it's slow progress. It's a little tight, but that's okay. And eventually we'll see the belt pop out of this gap here. There it is, starting to appear. We need a bit more, a little bit more. It's probably close enough. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to fold the belt onto itself. And um, I'll pull a bit more out to illustrate here. You want it so that there's a little bit of a loop here, but that there's an, about six to seven teeth that are meshing. Um, and then what we're going to do is pull that back through And we can pinch these belts together with our fingertips here. We want to leave that little loop um, not tight because we're going to feed the bolt back through it once we're done pulling this belt through as far as it needs to go. So we just keep working at it here and I apologize I'm kind of hiding the view. But what you'll see if you're doing this correctly is that you're left with a little loop where you can feed that bolt through. And that might not be enough. I may have to redo that. Let me see what happens if I try to feed that through. Oh, no, it's going through. All right, I think I got it this time. And then we're just going to screw this bolt back into place. And this bolt captures this belt because the belt has teeth that are meshing with each other. Um, this bolt will hold on to the loop. It's in the middle of that, that meshed area and will uh, secure the belt so that it can't go through that, back through the, uh, the exit over here on the other side. So give me a moment to just adjust this bolt and cinch it down. It is a long bolt, it takes a moment. And we'll see if I can get the other side as easily as I got this side. Uh, it can be a little tricky. Um, they don't give you a lot of extra play on the belt, and you, you don't want you want the belts tight, but there's not a lot of extra belt length to uh, give you any kind of um, freedom to to get the the belting in place. So it's uh, it's a bit of a tight squeeze. All right, this is almost done. Just about done cinching this down now. This will show you the belt routing, but I have not yet um, completed any belt tensioning. And I'm not going to cover that in my video series. Um, there are all sorts of guides on how to tension belts properly on 3D printers. Um, if you're going to be assembling one of these, it's probably not your first DIY printer. And so um, you can follow some other guide on how to tension belts properly and get everything all nice and even and keep your gantry from being racked de-racking the gantry if you happen to get it racked. Um, so I won't be covering that process in this series. This is just kind of a physical build series. So now what I want to do is take the other end of the belt and I'm going to route it through the um, idler, the toothed idler that is at the top of this um, tower corner stack. And it's going to come back around like that. And in 
this case, it's going to feed underneath. I'll show you where it goes. It goes underneath the, um, I believe this is the Y. Don't quote me on that. That might be X. I'll have to check. Actually, that's X. Um, it goes underneath the, the X uh, linear rail. Um, and just along the side of this purple printed part here. So I'm not sure if you can see that in the video shot. Basically it routes down and like this into the other corner. Anyway, if that's not visible, I do apologize for the camera angle, uh, but you'll see when you go to route it, um, it sits beneath the linear rail. And then what we want to do next is kind of pull that tight and then on this side we have this printed part and I want the um, end of this printed part that has the heat set insert to be to this end of the assembly. So it should be visible and not stuck inside the plastic part here. Um, so I'm gonna, and in order to do that, what we're gonna do is line the belt up. Make sure I don't have the belt twisted here. And the belt should be routed through here already. So I don't have to do that later. There we go. So I'm gonna line, and I'll, I'll, I'll redo it ascent. I'll just illustrate for your purposes. Um, the belt is gonna go into the assembly like this, and I want the belt to be the full length of this piece of plastic so that there's more teeth meshed uh, here. And again, with the heat set insert, basically in this orientation facing this way, so facing the outside of this part. All right, so I'm gonna do that again down below. Might be less visible for you, but hopefully you, you'll get the idea. Route the belt again through the pulley this time. Okay, and once again, that goes like that. And then we slide that plastic part into the slot for it, as far as we can get it to go. Hopefully it will be far enough, if there's enough, um, if we can get enough length in the belt or a slack in order to pull it tight. And then this is our tension uh, adjustment bolt and it goes through this part here and we'll just slide it into the hole. There we go. Oh, and it popped the part out. So see, that's kind of what I was saying about there. It can be a little fiddly to get done. Let me just see if I can put it on its side again. Let me show you this part once more. So once again, on its side, plastic end goes into the assembly. The heat threaded end goes uh, facing away from the assembly. We line up the belt so it has as many of the teeth um, as many of the teeth engaged as possible. I'm going to try and get the belt properly seated in the pulley here. One second, for it is not. And once again, once again into the fray, as the saying goes. Okay, so this goes in like that. I need to basically push it all the way in as far as I can get, and that actually is pretty good engagement, so I think I'll be okay. And now what you can't see here because it's hidden by this belt, but I'm tightening that tension bolt that's kind of uh, going through the part that I just inserted. Uh, and I'm tightening that tension bolt in order to cinch the belts. Um, the more you tighten the bolt, obviously the more it'll pull on the heat set insert and uh, pull the part into the plastic housing here to give you some, some room to adjust the belts. And that's actually going pretty good. Let me just move this over a little bit and I'll keep tensioning the belt.
Now again, I'm not checking for proper tension, but I've got good good tight belts here. They might be too tight. They might not be tight enough. I'm um, not going to do that measurement in this video or in any of my future videos. Um, you can look up how to tighten and tension belts properly to the right um, the right frequency, but that basically got the four belts assembled for our X and Y gantry. So once again, here is the rear of the printer. And again, I've marked it for reference with this little bit of electrical tape that just tells me that's the rear edge of the printer. And so I've got my X and Y gantry. That looks quite a bit racked, doesn't it? Yeah. So they're not tight. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but the, uh, the Y gantry was, was actually quite angled. Um, so I don't have proper tension on these belts yet. I'll get there. Um, but just to illustrate that that assembly is moving the way it should. And uh, I will check for tension and racking uh, at a later time. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at the um, Z assembly. So the Z motion, uh, that'll be the linear rails that go up the, um, the back and the front edges of the uh, Z extrusions. And uh, we'll see you in that video next. Thanks for watching.